They were allowed to be bullied. But again, that goal just highlights what Roberto Martinez did. And credit to him. But what about Arsenal, Gary? Are they, are they too easy? Because you know what they're going to do. Are they too easy to set up against? Yeah, I think the things that Jamie's talked about there in terms of the sort of bad defending at times, at times they defended well this season. I think the Arsene Wenger at the end of the game talked about being outfought. I think when he thinks about that game back, the worrying thing will be the being outthought. And he was resigned at the end of the game. But his team were confused, totally confused. And it's quite simple. I think when you're playing against... It's quite simple. It's not that simple. Else they'd have done it. <laughs> Just looking at Mikel Arteta there. Against this, you've either got to press Everton high, and this is what they're trying to do. And you see Arteta there, he's trying to move Rizitski into that position where Distan's going to go as that split centre back. And that's where Rizitski should go. If you see where Giroud is over that far side, he's basically gone to the other side with stones. And basically, Arteta's trying to be a leader and, and push them all in. They are leaving some space in behind them. But well, that's the chance that you take, and the, what they're thinking is, well, we'll make Tim Howard kick it. Rosicki doesn't actually go. He decides that he's going to do what he wants to do, which is pick up Gareth Barry. That's maybe what he's been told before the game. And he's pointing, saying, I'm going to stay with him. And he's having a little bit of a dispute there with Arteta. But as Tim Howard gets this ball and plays it out, out wide too, and you see now, it's too late. It's far too late. You're done now. Now they've started off their attack. Barry's on the ball. And Arsenal, as I mentioned before in the setup, have been basically put into a 4-4-2. And then Everton are in between them everywhere. The absolutely, the, the Arsenal players become so confused by it. But if you're going to defend in a 4-4-2 system, I think you need legs and you need discipline. Everything this Arsenal team didn't have. They had an old team on the pitch and they have no discipline. They don't understand how to cover across. They don't understand the fact that when a left-sided player goes across the left side, the midfield player comes across. They have no discipline in the way in which they defend. If we watch this de develop, and if you see Lukaku here in the role that Jamie talked about, he's just going to clear Monreal out of the space, and it's going to get played over to Seamus Coleman. But not the worst thing in the world. This Arsenal team now, just take that forward a touch, all shuffle across to that side in the two banks of four. Yeah, Arsenal, two banks of four. That's the way they were there. And they're not too bad. You know, Podolski's gone, Arteta, Flamini, a bit, bit too much distance between Cazola and Flamini. However, he closes that up as the ball gets transferred across. And it isn't bad. Now is the problem. They've now worked to one side, Lukaku does well, and it gets played to the other side. And this is where now when I talk about them being in between, this sort of thing starts to happen. Massive spaces for Everton players to move into. Cazola... He doesn't know whether to go to him. He doesn't know whether to go to him. Rosicki in the middle, just take that back a touch. He's saying, what's going on? Where is it? Why is this space not being filled? He can't believe it. Watch Sanya. He doesn't know whether to stay with Morales in that wide striker role or think about Baines. He should stay where he is. And when I talk about players being in between everywhere... Just move it forward a touch more. Vermaelen is not sure whether to go with Naismith or stay with Lukaku. Every single Arsenal player is having to make decisions. However, that there is right things to do. Once Sanya decides to go, which he shouldn't do, he pulls Mertesacker out into a wide area. Vermaelen should come across, because basically that's what you do. You react off your second centre-back. Monreal should come across. But basically, they haven't got the legs and the discipline to be able to react. And Everton, they confused them all day. They didn't know where the players were.